Why, hello there, YouTube. I am the Six-Fingered Wizard, and welcome to what's going to be a new kind of video I'm going to try, where I really try to uh, walk you guys through a project as I'm working on it. Um, so, video, vlog, vlog, cosplay, vlog, coslog. That's a word. That makes sense. That's not baby talk. I'm going to get to it. You guys know what I'm talking about, and you know what project I'm working on. It's in the title, but just give me one second. It's about showmanship. So, I've played just about every Blizzard game they've made, including Lost Vikings. Not that I'm a Blizzard fanboy. So then Blizzard announces Overwatch, you know, like a year ago. And I'm not entirely on board with this, because I'm not a shooter guy. I, I don't really specifically play shooters. Um, but I got in the beta, I tried it out, and I really liked it. I had fun, so I bought it. <laughs> so, I knew I wanted to make something from Overwatch, and you know what it is, but just give me a minute, okay? Give me a minute. So I'm gonna make Hanzo's bow. I like the guy who brings a bow to a gunfight. I also like the guy who brings a knife to a gunfight, but Genji's sword isn't as cool as Hanzo's bow. Oh, dip. Somebody out there disagrees with me. You're welcome to comment on that below. So I'm making Hanzo's bow, and I'm using this as an opportunity to try something out that I actually haven't tried before, which is Pepakura. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what Pepakura is, it is a program that people can feed a 3D model into, and it will feed out uh, this pattern to make a papercraft version of the 3D model. There's a lot of, like... Um, guns from assorted games uh, a lot of halo costumes a lot of iron man costumes are made using uh, pepakura uh, and, and again i've never tried it out uh, and instead of taking a pattern somebody else has got set up so everything's nice and perfect with it and building that i decided i was going to take a 3d model feed it into the program and build hanzo's bow with it now, when most people post a Pepakura model, like uh, on a forum, like on the RPF or something, they have fixed a few things that I did not fix because either A, I didn't know they were there, or B, I don't know, <laughs> this is my first time trying to do this. I, I didn't anticipate the problems that I have ended up having, which are not catastrophic, but they ain't good. Now, those problems specifically are the uh, the geometry of this 3D model. Sometimes parts of it will go through other parts of it, um, and Pepakura doesn't know to deal with that, um, so I've had to deal with it after the fact. Uh, <laughs> there are also some things that's just done weird. So, here's the first part of the project. 47 sheets of paper glued to 8 sheets of poster board. Uh, when I was uh, lining up this model to be printed out, I specifically lined it up in sheets of six because uh, the, the p some of the pieces are big enough that they wouldn't fit on a single sheet of paper. So I was like, all right, I'll glue six together on a sheet of poster board uh, and then cut them out of that sheet of poster board. Uh, and this has worked out pretty well, except for, you know, a mistake or two. Uh, I managed to get all the pieces on pieces of poster board so I don't have to splice things Pepakura designed to be a solid piece as two separate pieces. That, that might have gotten messy. Unfortunately, some of the pieces for this are kind of nightmarish. I don't know if I'm going to put some of these together or just like sculpt them after the fact. Uh, I'll deal with that when I get to those. So the two pieces I put together are two pieces that I found out intersect uh, in terms of the 3D models. So I had to um, cut one to fit the other, uh, and I did, in a way that I'm pretty sure has not caused either of them to warp, but I'm not 100% sure. Thankfully, Hanzo's bow is shaped just organically enough that if things are a little bit off, provided the whole thing isn't crooked, uh, that it'll still look pretty much fine, hopefully. Again, we're, we still have yet to see what, uh, what this all is going to look like when it's done, uh, because this is what I have done so far. I finally have a thing that looks like a thing, that looks like part of a thing. So this is the um, part of the lower half of Hanzo's bow. The handle kind of goes back here, and the arrows kind of fit through this section here. Um, 
This has taken hours. This is, you know, not surprisingly kind of time consuming. Uh, so I need to get back into it. Uh, I need to get more done and I will post another video when I have more progress to show you guys. Uh, when I do have more done that's worth showing, uh, I'll post the next one of these videos and kind of try to uh, keep you guys appraised as it's going. Uh, if nothing else, so that you can learn from my mistakes if you're trying to do anything like this. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.